What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival, back here again on my main account. Been doing not really actually that many of the Raiders tasks to be honest, I've done a fair few of them. Oh, I've just changed the size of it, I need to remember not to press escape, otherwise that will mess up the recording. Now where are my VSSSSs? Here they are. I did it again. This is going to be very difficult for me not to do because I just did it again. Right. I'm going to be back in a second. Right. I am back again. Is there any game audio? Yes, there is. Perfect. And I can now press escape without making it disappear. So on BlueStacks, I have it set up so that when I, I have to press F11 to exit that screen, but on Nox, it isn't giving me that option, unfortunately. Right, so as you can tell, heading out on a raid, just grabbing some quick hatchets before we go. Now, I've got C4 in my inbox I'm happy with. Um, it looks like I never actually got the VSSs, but I've got these ones here that will do nicely. Oh, don't want that. I would like that. So let's equip these ones. Leave that behind. Perfect. Right, let's go on a raid. Need to first make sure that there is nothing in excellent. Oh, so the devs posted the roadmap finally in Discord. Wow, I have done a lot less of the task than I thought I had. So yeah, they have shared the roadmap, and it looks like the next update to be coming is going to be parties, which I'm hoping means that we're going to be able to actually group up with our clan members to fight the boss, the devourer. That is going to make life so much easier. Now, I will see if I can find the roadmap now. Let's have a look at it. So, next update is groups, which I'm, um, yeah, groups, guessing that's another word for parties. We are going to be raiding Ramazan. So, we're going to be getting groups, and then new event, mercenaries. I really hope that the mercenary event is going to be an event that we can go to multiple times, not just another single event. And then after that we're going to be getting a simple dungeon basements. Now look at the basement, we can clearly see it's in an old survivor's base. What I can't work out is, are we going to be able to build basements? Personally I don't think we will, but just my opinion, I'm sure there are people that will disagree. I don't think we're going to be able to build them. But it does look like we're going to be going to a location on the map, or even we'll just find the basements, the dungeon, dotted around the map, in the um, forest zones, for example, because you can see it in the middle of a forest. Then, after that, we have a secret update. No idea what that would be. And then we've got co-op dungeons. And if you look at that, that is clearly one of the bunker floors. And you can see there, there's three people in the scout armor that is so this is all still taking place in the multiplayer zone so this isn't actually at bunker alpha at least that's what i think and as you can see they're taking on zombies and they also look like ashy ones so i think we're going to be getting some kind of military bunker inside of the sector 7 zones right let's see what ramazan has got for us okay it is one of these bases again haven't raided one of these in a while Yay, a load of wood. Yeah, I am not expecting to get... Right, can I interact with that wall? Oh, come on, let me interact with the wall. There we go. Just because it's a lot less noise to break the wall. There we go. And we're in. So, we're... Ah, there's actually five boxes in here. We might get some good stuff. It is entirely possible. I have actually gotten police cards in a base like this before. Ooh! I take back what I have said. Oh, those... Oh, the guns are actually really low durability. That's disappointing. First glance, I thought, yay, we've got guns. Disappointing base, good guns, but no. Semi-disappointing guns as well. Let's just get all of these opened up. And then we'll take our pickings. Hey, a steel plate and a wrench. I really need wrenches at the moment. I've now got everything I need to finish the engine mod for the saw blade, apart from the wrenches. And a hey, police cards. 
So it's only the brown ones, unfortunately. Hello, zombies. So this is going to be the final wave that we have to fight. Because we have already broken absolutely everything that there is to break on this base. Let's do that. Perfect. Right then, let's work out what we want to take with us. I'm guessing I'm going to want to take these guns. And let's take the Winchester because, if nothing else, it's good to recycle. And I'm sure this person isn't going to bother recycling their Winchester, so I'll do it for them. Right. Yeah, this base is definitely... I'm willing to say... <clears throat> I'm not sure if I would say this one's a hacker, because... They've built over the trees, which is something you cannot do. However, there is a chance that is just a bug. That one's got high durability. But... <clears throat> I can't, can't work it out. What do you all think? Because it is impossible to place trees and things where there are... Um, impossible to place foundations where trees are. And they've done that. And for their grow beds and everything as well. Hmm. I'll reserve judgement because people get really annoyed if I say this base is a hacker and they don't think it is. Now what else do we want to take from it? I'll take a steel plate. I'll take a wrench. What type of armour? You know what? That's actually a decent set of the armour. Don't need to take that. Don't need to take that. I think... Uh, have we used up one of our VSS yet? Yes, we have. Excellent. Is our armour broken? No. Hmm. Is that better than what we have? 41. Wait, armour 2. Moves be 41. Okay. Let's grab the metal pipe, because the metal pipe is actually really good. And we don't need to get pine, I don't think. I think I'll leave it there, item-wise. Happy with that? Pretty sure I'm happy with that. I mean, I would know. I'd obviously prefer if there was better stuff on this raid. But you can't get everything. Uh, let's have it like that. Hmm. I genuinely don't think I actually want to take anything else in this raid. Raids have gotten so disappointing lately. Sometimes you get really good ones, but most of the time it is just something like this. And yeah, this is why I have not been posting daily raid videos. Because I just get raids like this. You know what? Because that one was so terrible, I think... I owe it to you all to make this a double raid video. So let me go and drop the things off at the base and we'll head out on a new raid. Right then, let's head out on raid number two for the video. Now I've gone in and out of the full screen mode so, t so many times it has actually messed up the screen. I'm not sure if you can all see it, but on my end the screen is slightly doubled and blurred. Okay, so to me, this is looking like another rather pointless raid. Oh, hang on. Hello, hello. We've got a stone base up here. That's more like it. That's much better. Right, let's do a quick circuit. Yep. All right, let's get some C4. Where is it? Hello. Um, no, that was stone. I accidentally took limestone instead of C4. I am a pure genius. Ah, uh, you know what I should have done? I should have used the um, look around skill there to get a nice screenshot of that exploding. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed in myself now. There we go. And we're straight into a little bit of oak. Okie dokie. Right, you know what? This looks like it is actually their loot room. Ooh, tickets. Tickets, please. Okay, I'm actually just going to break open all the boxes in here. Uh, nothing that good in there. Right, I'm going to hit this one twice. And then we'll hit this one twice. And I suppose we can hit this one twice as well. Let's see what they got behind here. And that is just their ATV. Okay, okay. Right, you lot can all die. So this is two pretty much just disappointing raids in a row. 
So to the people wondering why I'm not posting daily, I know I said this earlier anyway. I mean, look at that. That's... I'll take the beans. Uh, and this is why we got the base. So the raiding system sees bases as valuable if they've got an electronic circuit in them because the anniversary update last year messed it up and made it so that electronic circuits are ridiculously common and then the update that added the recycler just made it even worse. So if you're getting bases that are really bad like this all the time, it's because the system, it's because somewhere in the base is an electronic circuit. Right, let's break into this one as well. So they got stone walls around that side, but they got some nice squishy wooden ones here for us. And it's empty. Okie dokie. Ooh, and we've got more zombies coming to waste our VSS durability. You know what? I don't think so. Hang on. Ow. Right, what I want to do is just grab the gold bars. Yep, they were in there. Ow. That was mean. Can you all follow me around this way, please? Thank you. And now, goodbye. Let's give them the old run around. Adios. Our buddy, the dealer over here, is trading weapon boxes for gold bars. Okay, let's take that from him. Can you actually kill him with a VSS? A VSS does one shot to him of damage. An AK does not even damage him. Let's kill us some survivors. Or let's just get gunned to death and slaughter. Right, I'm gonna grab myself some clothes quickly and I'll probably grab my trusty shotgun that's got a nice spread shot on it. Let's get that. So yeah, as I've said multiple times, I have never claimed to be good at this game. In fact, I have said many, many times that I am bad at this game. Now I need to get back there because my tactical backpack was on my back at the time, and I'd rather not lose it. Right then, let's try this again. Hello, hello, hello. Dead. That was very simple. Okie doke. Right, you know what? I'm actually going to leave those bits of armor there because the stuff I've got on now is a lot better. Oh my god, this person is driving me insane. He's still messaging me. I know it. I am incredibly professional talking to people on Discord whilst recording. I amaze even myself. Right, let's see what we can get. Ooh, a shotgun. I will take that. Stop messaging me. Okay, now he's spamming me. Literally the word spam. There we go. Right. Um, chopper slots. What have we got in you? We have space. Excellent. You can take that. You can take that. You can take my three wrenches because they will go a long way towards finishing that lovely saw blade mod. Which I think I'm going to be... I will be pretty close to finishing now. Because I only needed... I th oh, I might actually even be able to finish it. I'm not sure. I think we should head back home and find out. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. And let's grab that one. Right, I'm going to go see if I can... Oh, actually, you know what? Be smart. Check this first. Don't want to leave it unlooted. I know there's a low chance of any loot in there. And did we open that one? We did. What about you? You haven't got an AK um, wrench for us. And that's my dead body. Okie dokie. Okay, then let's see how many wrenches it is that I need to finish this saw blade mod. I'm hoping it is just these four. Nah, we still need three more after that. Damn. Okay, well, that has kind of scuppered my plans for the video. I am going to, I guess, end off the video here. Thanks for watching, people. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.